There was a website that I started designing and developing about a year ago now, and it launched this February. Interactive Building Design, or IBD for short, is the site that I'm going to use to show off and showcase my capabilities. This is a huge site, so I'm just going to give you a quick overview, but then I'm going to focus on the member aspect, the calculators, and the plans. This website utilizes basic HTML, as all websites do, but it also uses CSS, cascading style sheets, and the programming languages of JavaScript and PHP. PHP is the main language used for working with databases, and this site employs quite a number of different tables in different databases. As an overview, this is a site based in Ontario for the time being, and is for the construction industry. It is for both public viewers and IBD members. Members consist of builders, subcontractors, designers, architects, for example, plus suppliers like Home Building Center, or manufacturers like Lafarge, for example. On the home page, using an IP locator, I display a welcome statement on the first line of the home page, listing where viewers is from. In this case, it says, Welcome viewer from Bicycle. The location is based on where your ISP, or Internet Service Provider, is located. And obviously, this ISP is located or registered close to Bicycle, which is where I'm close to. If you were in Hong Kong, it would say, Welcome viewer from Hong Kong. This IP locator is then used to display the contractors and designers to, that are closest to your location on the left-hand side of the screen. And the suppliers and manufacturers are, are displayed on the right-hand side of the screen. This provides localized exposure for all members and advertisers. There is a search service that is for everyone to find IBD members who meet chosen criteria and within a certain distance. This functionality uses a lot of code in the background, as well as a post-code lookup that is in its own database on the IBD server. There's also the Find a Product section of the website. You can find different information on connectors, what you're seeing on the screen right now are guards, roof membranes, siding, or windows. You'll see on the page for the guards here that these are all links of different manufacturers. When you click on the link, it'll take you right directly to the manufacturer's page so you can find out more information about that particular product. Very useful. One big aspect of this site is the ability to order plans. You can order an engineered slab, a concrete slab on grade, say for a garage floor, as, a, as, as an example. You can order a custom garage or a pre-designed garage plan. There are a number of pre-designed garage plans now available, but within the next two or three months, there will be well over a hundred available. Home Building Center, HBC, is having IBD design their most common garage packages, and those plans will soon be available on this website. More on that later. The photo section of the IBD site showcases images from members' projects. These include houses, boat houses, garages, decks, commercial properties, additions, cottages, and is also in other category, just in case. The building code section provides a number of different permits with the ability to fill them out online, plus a frequently asked question area and a glossary of terms. The future plan is for a viewer to be able to chat directly with a building official immediately. That's going to be a nice feature. I will expand upon the calculator section later, but this is one of the two areas of the website that is strictly for members. A public viewer or a non-member can see what the calculator does and how it works, but it will not get the final answer. The details section is the second area just for members. This is an area that depicts de detailed building images. 
These details have been approved by both engineers and building inspectors, and therefore provide excellent information. This is a site that members can join to take advantage of the many services that IBD offers, including access to all the calculators and details, plus discounts on any of their purchases. There is a login, including a link if a member forgets their password. The password is automatically pulled from the member's database and immediately mailed to them. A typical service offered with any membership-based website. Clicking on a member's logo, located on the left-hand side of the screen, takes you to their IBD profile page. As you can see here on this example, their logo and name is at the top of the page. Their contact information, along with a description of what they do, is shown on the upper left-hand corner of the screen. A testimonial and rating area from their clients is on the lower left-hand side of the screen. The right-hand side of the screen is reserved for the member to showcase their various jobs or projects that they want to show off to everybody. You'll see some pictures on the right-hand side here. Those little pictures, those little thumbnails, are the main job photo of each job that the member is featuring. You click on any of those pictures and you are taken to that particular job page. The member can have up to 20 more pictures for each individual job or project that they want to showcase. When you mouse over the small picture to the right, a larger version of that same picture is shown below along with a caption. Now this is what the actual page looks like. As you can see, all the structure is in place, but no information is displayed. There is a lot of coding in the background that pulls the information from the database and loads it dynamically onto the page every time a viewer clicks on that member's logo. And here's a look at the actual table, the member's table in one of the databases. Members can edit their profile, add or update their jobs, send IBD a suggestion or provide an endorsement about the IBD website. A member can change all the basic information in their profile, including their logo. Most important is this area, which are the categories that they can choose from. The categories that are chosen by the member are used in the search function on the website. So for example, if you're a builder, you can choose from 13 different categories, depending on what kind of builder you are and what services you provide. If you're a subcontractor, you can choose from 35 different categories, and designers can choose from 6 different areas. A member can add a new job to their profile page, edit an existing job, or delete a job that they've, they have featured. This is all done in the background using PHP to access the database for each individual member's job and all the information images stored on the server. When a member edits a job, he has the option to change the name, the job description, change the main job image, the category that that particular main job image falls into, and any of the other 20 images that they can upload to, show, to showcase that project. This is the screen that the member sees to edit or to add a job. This is a screenshot of the first page of many pages that does all the work in the background. There's a lot of coding in the background to make all of this work. The category that the main job image, well that's the image that is featured on their profile page to visually represent that particular job, determines on what page that image will be displayed in the photo section of the IBD website. There's a lot of crossover functionality built into the site as you're starting to get the, the idea of. Each photo in the photo section of the website is also a link that takes you to that member's profile page. Again, giving more exposure to each member. When you click on an advertiser's logo, shown on the right-hand side of the, the screen, it will take you to their website, providing extra, extra exposure for each advertiser. 
Suppliers and manufacturers can also be members, and if that is the case, clicking on their logo will take you to their IBD profile page. This is set up similarly to the members profile pages, but with the ability to showcase products instead of projects. The second key and vital component to this website is the calculators. There are a few free calculators for any public viewer to use, like figuring out the concrete required for any project. All the other calculators are strictly for members. These calculators had originally been developed by a certified engineer technologist, one of the owners of IBD, to make it easier just for himself. Anyone can look up the various numbers in various tables in various books. So Doug started building these calculators in Excel spreadsheets, thereby from combining all the information into one area instead of countless tables found in countless books. Now since you just can't put an Excel spreadsheet on the internet, or at least not yet anyway, they have to be converted into a web-based calculator. This is a very difficult and time-consuming process, but well worth it since no one else on the World Wide Web provides these calculators, at least as far as we know, internally at this point in time. There are four categories of calculators. Joists, beams, lintels, and foundations. We now have six calculators on the IBD website with many more in development. The calculator that has been the most difficult to program is the reinforced concrete high wall calculator. This is a tool for engineers when they design concrete walls, foundation wall, or walls in multi-story commercial buildings. The engineer needs to calculate the amount of concrete and rebar needed to meet safety and building code standards. So for example, all the walls of the Bow Tower downtown are concrete high walls. You can only imagine how much correct and proper reinforcement must be calculated to ensure that this building remains standing. There are a number of different factors that go into determining the needs of a concrete high wall, like the conditions, the height of the wall, the height of backfill, the type of soil, etc. The axial load on top of the wall, the wall design, wall thickness, concrete strength, bar yield strength, etc. And the orientation of the wall. This calculator provides how thick the wall should be, the type of concrete required, the amount of concrete needed, the type, amount, and spacing of rebar. In other words, everything an engineer needs to know to make this concrete high wall safe, plus meeting all of the building code requirements. Here are some of the actual calculations that went into creating this high wall calculator. There is some complex math going on here. The calculators have been a huge programming challenge, but what a difference they are making to the popularity of this website. The IBD website has a lot of information, but it also provides dynamic working tools like these calculators. An aspect of the site that I'm very proud of, and one that I feel sets it apart from the other websites on the net. The other huge aspect of the site are the plans that can be ordered. Engineered slabs and the ability to have a custom garage design are the first two. The third type of plans that can be ordered are the pre-designed garages. These are stock plans that Brian, the other owner of IBD, has designed and is now making available to anyone. There are lots of choices of garage plans and with many more on the way. The prices are kept low and with so many choices, it makes it a cheaper alternative for anyone wanting to build a garage than going directly to an architect. I've already mentioned that HBC in Ontario are providing the details of the most common garage packages that they sell. Brian is designing them as we speak, and each one will be available on the IBD website very soon. With this collaboration, we anticipate a lot of these garage plans to sell in a year. So the idea came up to attempt to automate the process. Presently, one chooses the garage they want. The email with the details go to Brian, who prepares the plans, and then emails the completed plans to the client, 
within two or three days. With automation, the plans will be made available immediately upon confirmation of payment. The client can then download and save the plans right away and get started instead of having to wait. The challenge with automating is all the information that changes on the plans, depending on the municipality. There is a title block, the project name, address, municipality, and the date that changes for each job. Then there are the changes to the climatic data and lintel size, which is based on the snow loads and winds in each municipality. All these various factors and information are stored in one of the databases on the server. That was the easy part. The hard part is taking the various PDFs of the plans, merging them together, and then adding it all, adding all the correct information for that particular municipality to the PDFs. These are all things that I'm able to do with Adobe Acrobat Pro, but most people view a PDF online with the Acrobat Reader, which doesn't have any of that functionality. There's also encryption in the reader, so I have to admit it's been quite a challenge to do. Well, we've done it. A task I don't think any mere moral could have pulled off. The future of IBD is exciting, especially with the automation that will be completed within the next few weeks. In time, this site will grow to include all municipalities in Canada, and perhaps... I was pleased to receive this testimonial from Brian to add to my own website. I'm very proud of my work on the IBD website. This overview of IBD gives you a good idea of my capabilities, what I can do and offer to my clients. Despite not being able to train horses for a living anymore, I feel I have found another career that I am good at, but more important to me is that I enjoy it and find it rewarding. I feel I create value, build trust, and deliver results to my clients. I believe that if you can dream it, and it is technically possible, I can build it. If you are ever in need or know of someone who has a dream to have a presence on the internet, please keep me in mind. I would be happy to build a website that will fulfill their dreams and lead them to success.